Hey everybody, welcome to today's video. We're gonna be highlighting the 2014 Chevy Sonic that's available at the dealership I work at. Now this is definitely a sporty little car here. And uh, we're briefly just gonna kind of talk about the Sonic, let you see the Sonic, some of the features you'll get on it. And then I'm gonna kind of talk about why this is actually just a great vehicle all around. So stay with us. We're gonna have a good time on this review here today on Charleston Car Videos. So over my past 10 years of working with the new car brand, Chevrolet, working out at the Chevrolet dealership that I used to be at doing video reviews, the Chevy Sonic and the Spark were two little small cars that were affordable for people to buy brand new and at the same time, kind of fun, you know? I've always had the uh, saying in the back of my head saying, it's more fun to drive a slow car fast than a fast, fast car slow. Again, let's slow that down for a minute. It's more fun to drive a slow car fast than to drive a fast car slow. Because let's just face it, everybody. I mean, living in the city or whatever town you're in, watching this video right now, there's just not a whole lot of places that you can go and drive a fast car fast without getting some kind of crazy speeding ticket or getting arrested, right? So a slow car is a little more fun because you can drive it a little more fast and not get in trouble if you think about it. But anyways, not to say that this car is really super slow or anything. I mean, it is small. It doesn't weigh a whole lot. It's got four doors, believe it or not. What I like about it though, is it kind of looks like a two door, like a stretch two door, but there is four doors there and the back handles are up on the top up there. But it's got a little four cylinder that gets great fuel economy, probably over 35 miles per gallon. And you could probably just smash the gas pedal down to the floor and still get over 30. And then on top of that, it's a great price range of vehicle. And it's small to be able to kind of zip in and out in traffic, go in the parking garages, at the Walmart, at the mall, and just kind of zip into a spot in a tight spot, by the way. So, I mean, there's all kinds of fun little things you can do with it. And it's easy to drive if you're gonna buy a car for your son or daughter in high school, or maybe you're going off to college and they graduated and you're getting them a vehicle. It's a tiny car. I mean, just a little bit bigger than a, go uh, than a golf cart or even a, uh, a go-kart, but uh, it's super easy to drive and fun. I mean, there's something about driving little small cars like those smart cars and stuff that are just, just make it kind of fun, you know? And heck, if you wanted to have a little more fun with it and actually dump a little money into this small little car, you could probably make that engine under there pretty quick. So anyways, this is all naturally aspirated. You know, there's no turbos, no superchargers or anything like that under the hood of the Sonic. This one here is just all stock. But here's the thing, you know, this car here today is only $7,990. So $7,990, basically $8,000 to round up. You know, if you needed to buy a car at the car lot here and you need to finance because maybe you didn't want to go through your bank or maybe your credit wasn't all that great and you still wanted a car that was a little bit newer with low mileage at 49,000 miles, I mean, this is the car here you put 15 to 2,000 bucks cash down on. You got you a six month, 6,000 mile warranty at the car lot. And, um, you know, you got something that looks a little bit newer, low mileage, and again, a low car payment. So I think it's kind of a no brainer, really. It's a great little car. If you want something that's economy friendly or, you know, friendly to the atmosphere up there, but also at the same time, you know, friendly on your pocket where you're not spending a ton of money on gas and all that kind of stuff. Anyways, if you get what I'm saying, but, um, you know, I had a guy looking at it with me, wants to buy it for his son. So I'm making this video today and hopefully he'll watch it and check it out and kind of let me know what he thinks about it. But, you know, not a ton of space in the back. It's a hatchback, but it's got enough room for a single guy or a single girl, you know, or well, I'm not even saying single. I mean, you can have a girlfriend or a boyfriend or however you want to work that out. But what I'm getting at here is somebody that doesn't have, you know, kids and all that. And heck, maybe you even do got a kid, right? Or two kids. They can still fit in the back seat. So who says they can't, right? But it's a small car, but it's got room to go to the mall, go to the grocery store, do everything you need to do. You know, does everybody really need to be driving a Chevrolet Tahoe or Suburban or or a, a bigger car. I mean, really, when you think about it, do you really have to have a car so big, right? I think really big cars, sometimes it's really the person's preference because they like being in something bigger, it makes them feel safer. And they like kind of feeling like king of the road when going down the highway. Cause in this car here, you're gonna be kind of low to the ground and 
you know, just zipping on down in your peppy little Sonic. But anyways, very basic though, for the most part. I mean, it does got roll up windows, which I always say is less things to break 10 years later. Manual mirrors on the outside. It does have power door locks though. Automatic transmission. It does have cruise, well no, hold on, timeout. Does it have cruise control? I do not know on that, but it does have audio controls on the steering wheel. A cute little horn. 49,077 miles, which is amazingly low, okay? Which isn't really that bad at all. It does got an AM, FM radio. It's got an auxiliary port in here and possibly a USB double glove box. You got OnStar and then cute little seats, right? Yeah, and it's got back seats right there, headrests, airbags. Oh crap, handles above the window sills. When you're going around corners, you know you're gonna be holding on to that. So not too bad, you know? handles right there like I said earlier and there's your back seats but anyways you know we've done our reviews on these cars when I was at the new car dealership and now we're out here you know a year or two years later after doing a review on a 2018 or 2017 Chevy Sonic back then that was going for 17 to 20 thousand dollars and now we're looking at a 2014 with 49 thousand miles going for 7900 dollars so you can see the spread there from just a few years with a little more mileage on them so you know at the end of the day you may want to go out and buy you a brand new car and get that manufacturer's warranty but if you really want to save some money you can go out and find you one just like this in your town locally if you just take your time and do a little research and you can get that little sonic that you really like and with the options you might want you might have to you know get one with roll up windows but at the end of the day you can find one at a great price you might even be able to get it for a little bit lower price and be happy. So anyways, let me know what you think about this one here. Are you a Chevy Sonic driver? Do you drive a Spark? Do you drive a small car? Do you love your little small car? Do you like your big cars? Give me your opinions, guys. Like, comment, and subscribe here on the YouTube channel. And uh, I'm going to get finished with this video because it's, it's about to start raining and it's getting real cold. We'll see you soon, guys. Thanks for watching. Have a blessed day.